It's 2 a.m. on Black Friday weekend, the biggest sales event of the year. Sarah, senior DevOps engineer at a big e-commerce company, is jolted awake by her phone. A P1 critical incident. The payment service completely down across all regions. Within seconds, 47 Slack messages. The CEO wants answers immediately. Her inbox explodes. Every second of downtime costs thousands in lost Black Friday sales. Sarah's exhausted. This keeps happening, and she's always fighting alone. Sarah's bedroom office becomes mission control. Nearly two hours of searching through endless logs. Every pod failing with cryptic Kubernetes errors. Nearly 11,000 error messages to parse. Leadership in panic mode. A big dip in revenue. Traditional debugging isn't working. It's 5.45 a.m. The sky is lightning, but Sarah's problems aren't. In desperation, Sarah decides to try AI for help. She types her error into ChatGPT, hoping for intelligent assistance. But as she reads the generic suggestions, her hope turns to frustration. She tries every suggestion ChatGPT and other conversation AI tools offer. Delete pods, restart deployments, Nothing works. 23 minutes of precious time, completely wasted on solutions that never had a chance. ChatGPT has no access to her actual cluster. It's just guessing based on generic Kubernetes knowledge. 6 a.m., four hours into the crisis, Sarah's exhausted and defeated. Mike Chen, Sarah's team lead, has just seen her struggle trying to troubleshoot the outage using ChatGPT. He jumps in and sends her a Slack message. He tells her to stop wasting time with generic AI. He has something different. Sarah tries this new tool Mike suggested. It immediately connects to her actual cluster. The tool finds what ChatGPT never could, a corrupted Base64 secret in the database credentials. And... Not only does it find the problem, it shows the exact kubectl commands to fix it. Sarah realizes this is completely different. This tool is running inside her cluster, not guessing from outside. The fix works instantly. Secrets recreated, pods restarting, connections restored. 6.13 AM. After four hours of crisis, Sarah can finally celebrate. The corrupted secret is fixed. The pods are running. Black Friday is saved. Every single metric is green. 12 pods running perfectly. Zero errors. This is what victory looks like in DevOps. Everything just works. Sarah reflects on what just happened. This tool could see her actual infrastructure. It had context, access, and intelligence. That's the entire difference between success and failure. Here's the truth. External AI like ChatGPT works from text alone. Internal AI tools have direct kubectl access to your cluster. One blindly guesses from symptoms. One sees the actual corrupted base64 in your secrets. That's why Sarah succeeded. And now it's your turn. In the lab, you'll face the same critical situation, a broken Kubernetes deployment that generic conversational AI can't solve. You'll use a tool with direct kubectl access to diagnose and fix real Kubernetes issues in minutes, not hours. Your mission starts now.